Well, it's certainly a windless day because it's up, isn't it, Bev, the sail? But right. Bev's just flaked the um, uh, the line, the halyard. What's the seal looking like, wind-wise? Wind-wise? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, here So goes. now for the good bit. Three, Hopefully. Two, one. pulleys off the little pulleys and I'm just measuring up for my Dyneema that's going to replace it. This this old halyard knot will have to come out but the problem is that this stuff shouldn't come out easily as this. <laughs> shouldn't be able to undo a halyard knot by hand but you can do because these have worked loose while we've been under sail so I'm not really that impressed with them but the idea is that um, we're going to get rid of these little pulleys, we're going to get rid of these sharp ends which we both don't like, do we, Bev? Well, I've, I've seen this one rubbing against the seal. And it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. I mean, it's a 2,000 quid seal and it's a two pound rope. I mean, there's only, one... me to rope out, <laughs> there's only one way this is going to play out. This has to go. <laughs> so. Yeah, so, um... so I've already done my first set of two and they're already all spliced up and as you can see the knot, like all good Denima splices, is on the inside and uh, it's just a case of um, putting them on now so just get on with it. Yeah. But the thing about this is it has to be done from the top down. You start at the top and you work your way down with these because each of these has to pass through the ones above it and then be secured at the bottom. So I can't secure them from the bottom up, I've got to secure them from the top down. Yeah. Um... Uh, we've um, done uh, Dyneema splicing before on this channel, so we will put a card up, won't we Bev? There'll be a link up here, somewhere <laughs> over my shoulder, um, to our Dyneema splicing, but yep, it's just a good old splice. Yeah, this is the simpler ones, which is just little dolphin splices. Yeah. But do you know what? They're an absolute diddle to do. They are. Okay, the current Lazy Jack's got little pulleys on them and we're just going to skip the little pulleys and taking them off makes my job easier because I can double splice this without having to pass it through a pulley first. So I've got this partly in and it's just a case of uh, doing it inside now. So let's take my time, just push it on nice and gentle and it'll go all the way up. There we go, look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? And it has to come out that side there. Yeah, Bev always just sticks it to the um, board first. That way she gets a nice clean cut. Mm -hmm. yeah, what you don't do. like is uh, it all messy. Well, you, you don't have um, bumpy, lumpy edges, otherwise it won't pull through correctly. Yeah. If it can snag, it will. Yeah, I agree. Lovely. No force, just nice and easy. I'll just pull it through. Oh yeah. As I say, splicing is one of the many um, skills that you've just got to learn, isn't it, Bev? It does help. You don't have to. There's lots of people who seal yachts and have got no clue how to splice things. Yeah, I mean, say, I know somebody who um, has been sailing for a lot longer than us, who's only just learned to splice the other day. Mm. Whereas um, uh, we were at a yacht club and they gave us a, a splicing evening. You know, it's like... Um, yeah, the club, you know, the club we remember is off, ran a splicing course and we, we went to it. Yeah. And if your own club does that, then I'd advise you very strongly to go there. Yeah. I mean, so it's only an evening course or a day course or something like that, but... And you do need to practice it because it's very easy to forget the darn thing. Yeah, I agree with Bev on that one, you yeah. know. Yeah. Oh yeah, looking good Bev. Oh yeah, so that's that one done. So where are you up to on the rigging Bev? Um, 
hard work's done. All the all the splicing is in place. Um, it's now just a case of just finishing the job. But the new lazy jacks are in, and they uh, they do their job, so I'm happy. So I've got a couple of splices in place today. Okay, go on. Say it again. I've got a couple of splices in place today and when I get those done, the job's done. And be careful to step back with you into the sea. Is it hollow fed time, Beth? Yeah, definitely. Well, this is the old rope that's coming off. Um, and um, I'll just show you how tight. Oh, it's just so stiff. Um, age more than anything else. Beverly hates these bits. These edgy bits. Well, I'm just um, taking the little rollers off and I have to just show you this little, because I've undone the knot and you can see that there's bits of white and the rest is just green. That's just how much age, really. It's not the colour that bothers me, it's the razor edge. Yeah, the edge is um, razor and um, just the rope quality, it just... Um, with age, it just um, dies, really. And right, we so haven't washed this for ages. We've never washed it. <laughs> um, what I've done is I've run the Dyneema up and replaced this in the place of this old rope. And to be honest, that wasn't a wise decision because I've done it the wrong way around. I've put the reel on the side I'm going to have to cut instead of putting the reel on the deck. So I'm going to reattach this back to the Dyneema and put it back through again. <laughs> Ah oh dear, it was just uh, an oversight on my part, but it's easier for me to have the loose end in the seal side and then I can adjust the length correctly because this way here I'm going to have to guess the length, cut and hope I've got it right. So I've got to reattach the Dyneema to this and this is so work hardened and so old that even with a seal palm here, I can barely get this line to go through this stuff here. So. Yeah, I can see what you mean about... Ooh! Yeah. Hey. So now Bev's got the um, reel on the deck. Yeah, and I've got the, my working end here. And now she's got the working end. Which is what I need. Yeah, she's got her working end at the sail bag. So I can now splice this. Yeah, because it's all been spliced in place, isn't it, Bev? It is. So, that's good. I can get on with it now. Yeah. That'll do. We'll take it on that side. Yeah. So, she's just thrown it over because we're experimenting at the moment. Yeah, indeed. And that's what we do. But basically, we have a few ropes on our boat, which we call dog ropes. And... They basically do all sorts of jobs, which are um, miscellaneous, aren't they, Bev? They do all sorts of jobs that a decent rope wouldn't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Wind came at just the wrong time. So what are you doing with the um, dog rope, Beverly? I'm throwing it through the spreader, if the wind doesn't take it. Uh, but what have we, what have we decided? Oh, looks like your boat, right? More or less. Just one minor problem. It's up there and I'm down here. <laughs> it's coming down. Yeah, that's, that should be low enough to reach with the boat hook right beside you. Okay, I'll get that. Yeah, so Bev's just undoing the monkey's fist because we've been thinking about whether the spreaders should be on the inside. Nope. Should the line be on the inside, back of the spreaders and the front of the spreaders? But which one have we gone for, Bev? We're going around the front. It looks smoother than around the back, which looks a bit sharp edged. So. Yeah, I think it's been sharp edged by um, the fact that the other um, uh, ropes have just worn it away, so we're going the other it might way. Might be designed that way. It might be aerodynamic, be shaped like an aeroplane, thin at the back, thick at the front. Yeah, but we're going to go around the front. Oh no, it's my nemesis with the camera. <laughs> Yes, I'm here again. So what are you doing, Beth? Working the Dyneema because I'm going to splice it. The idea is to make a loop which can be pulled down and 
put over that. I've got to be careful not to overdo it though, because it's actually got to get over this. Yes. And uh, I think where I've got that mark, it will never do it. I don't think I can actually get it down that far. Yeah. So when we um, selected this Dyneema, what did we fit, what what did we not bargain on? Having big fat hands and a little thin line. Yeah. Because it is as slippery as. You can't really get a grip on it unless you wrap it around something which is a no-no on a sailboat. So um, I'm going to put a bite of my splice about here so that we can just bring it down to this point and loop it on like that. Well we'll see how that all pans out when you've done it. Okay Bev? Okay. So it's all done then, Bev? At last, thank God. After one or two false starts, but it's done. Ah, we had a bit where the rain was coming down, but I have to say it was the most pleasant rain shower I've sat in for a while, and the, the moodily lit skies were something else, just sailing all over. But anyway, putting that aside, so I've got this in the, I've got this in the up storage position. I've got the Dyneema on the cleats, and all I have to do is got two settings up and down quite literally that's it down's for sailing ups for storage and the lengths are all preset if it doesn't work out it's no big disaster i can always take it off again so this is the up in storage position yep and then i grab this loop and that's down for sailing this just stops it coming loose and escaping up the mast yeah so that's our uh, safety line. That's our safety line, yes. It's round turning three half inches. Yeah. 50% extra. Yeah. <laughs> and let me get it in the up position first. It's a wee bit tricky getting it on the cleat, but you do get it. So right. that's the up position. That's the up position, okay. okay. And that's the down position. Much better. Yeah, and um, if, um, if for some reason we haven't, uh, we need it further down, what we can do is just add another loop. No, we don't need to. Just do that. Oh, of course. And then it's really down. <laughs> Basically, yeah. So that's the three positions it runs in. Yeah. So now Bev's just put it on the up position. Excellent news. That's how it works. Love it. We're going to test the lazy jacks. We'll put the Dyneema lazy jacks on. And if we're going to break them, I'd rather break them in port rather than out at sea. I know, she's just so sensible, isn't she, she's that girl? Three, Hopefully. Two, one. <laughs> Definitely not that great. <laughs> well, we always slight angle. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, she's just pulling it down now. <laughs> 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 